Hi everybody, it's John with Backyard Eating. Alright, so I'm coming to you today because I want to give you a look at what I'm doing. And it's something super exciting for me today because I love it. Um, this year I grew something in my garden that I've never grown before. And I'm, I mean, I'm just overjoyed with the, the success of it. And that's loofah. I grew loofah gourds this year for the first time ever, and I didn't honestly, man, I, I really didn't expect much. You know, I planted them late. Uh, I was like, yeah, you know, I might get one or two, but not the case. I planted them late, but they still went crazy. Uh, I planted four plants. Each one probably produced, I don't know, 15 loofahs each. Um, and that's probably on the low side uh, with the estimate. Uh, they're still, they, I, mean, they, I mean, it's November and they still have loofahs on them. They're still, they just set fruit, I mean, maybe a week ago. And so they're coming to an end now because it's getting cold. Um, today it's actually, you know, really cold, really wet outside. It's been raining for a couple days here. So I wanted to give you a look at how I saved the seeds because I'm definitely going to grow these again. Not only were they a great plant as far as producing, but they also were very beneficial to the garden in bringing bees. And that's something that I happen to love because where I'm at, I'm in a suburban area and bees just don't come around that often. You have to have a really good planting of flowers, and just a lot of different things to get them here. Which I can usually accommodate that. I can usually create that with no problem. But the loofahs went above and beyond. And I mean, I actually mean above and beyond. Because the way I planted them, if you haven't checked out the videos, you can check them out. I'll try to post it right here. But I planted them on an old swing. Um, it's one of those bench swings. And... You know the swing broke so I wanted to use the frame so I planted them on the frame and you can, like I said you can check that video out but they were literally above everything else in the garden it brought the bees in really great and so I'm super excited about it I, I'm so pleased with how they did but today I want to give you just a little glimpse in saving the seeds and I, saving seeds is something I'm very passionate about because I mean garden seeds one can be expensive okay We've talked about this a little bit um, before, but you know they can be expensive. So that's number one. Uh, but number two, you're preserving the plant for future generations. I mean, I've never grew up, grown loofah before, so I did it this year. Well, if I save the seeds, I can pass those seeds on to other people who can then grow them. And, and they do it and so on and so on. That's how seeds become heirloom essentially is because they've been around and passed down generation to generation and so i did make a mistake in my seed saving process and i'll give you a clue on that when i when we get to actually saving the seeds out of the loofahs so without further ado let's get right to it all right so here we are we're going to save some seeds <clears throat> now from the loofah now the first and foremost thing you want to remember is anytime you're saving seeds that you want the seeds to mature in basically in your garden. I'll say it like that, but and what I mean by that is, you know, if you're going to harvest seeds from a pepper, okay, you want it to make sure that the pepper is completely ripe before you go to harvest the seeds. The reason for that is, and just like any other plant, or any other seed, you want to make sure the seed is mature. If the seed is not mature, if it's not ready to be harvested by being, you know, by the fruit being ripe, then you, you know, it's kind of a toss up whether it's going to germinate. You know, there are some people that claim that they've had success. I have not personally had success with planting an immature seed and having it sprout, but I'm not saying it's not possible. So basically what you want to do with the loofahs and any, any, and any other thing like, uh, cucumbers, squash, you know, eggplant, peppers, any of that stuff, is you want to make sure that it's completely ripe. Now, what I did this year and uh, is I decided that I was going to grow loofah, and that was great. Um, I've seen people do it before, and I was like, man, I just got to do it. 
So I grew Lufa and like I said, I planted four plants, had a great harvest. So I wanted to make sure that I saved some seeds. So what I did was I allowed some of these loofahs to dry out on the plant. Now, the reason I did that and let them dry out on the plant was because it mimics nature. In nature, when, when a flower, when a flower forms, opens up, gets pollinated, and dies, it, it dries out on the plant, and a lot of times it falls. And when it falls, that's the plant saying, hey, it's ready, it's ready. So it falls, and then it sprouts, and that's how it, you know, the, the life cycle begins again. And so I decided to leave these on the plant to dry out because I wanted to mimic nature and to make sure these plants, or excuse me, these loofahs were completely dry and the seeds were mature. So, <clears throat> you ready for my mistake? <laughs> so, and I'll show you in just a second, but so I was like, okay, so I need to make sure I have enough seeds for next year. I want to make these available to other people. Um, it was something that, you know, I, I had a little bit of a hard time to find originally. So I want to make these seeds available to people. So I wanted to save enough seed so that I could share, right? It's the whole purpose. So I allowed, I don't know, probably 10 or 12 of these loofahs to completely dry out on the vine. That's my mistake. <laughs> I'll show you in just a second, but one of these loofahs has an, a crazy amount of seeds in it. And so now I have a, a lot of seeds. <laughs> so let's get to it. Now I've already done one here. I've already cut it. And really all you do is you just tap it until the seeds come out. So I'm going to show you that. You take a knife, be careful, and you just want to cut the end off. Hopefully your knife is sharper than that one. It's one that I don't use very often. And you're just gonna dump the seeds out. See what I mean? Now, what I found is these seeds, because this is dried out, these seeds can sometimes look great, but it's really just a powder from the, from the thing drying out. When you kind of dust them off, it, they're black. The seeds are supposed to be black. I don't know if you can see those, that's what the seeds are supposed to look like. So all you do at this point is you take your loofah, and the easiest way is to just shake. You see all those seeds? That's from one loofah. And I'm not even done yet. <laughs> so I won't bore you with the shaking out process here. But I will tell you that there's a lot of seeds in this. And when I'm done, we'll come back and I'll show you the total. All right, so I'm back. <clears throat> and uh, I just want to give you an idea of the amount of seeds that were in two loofahs. Um, no, I didn't count them. Um, so that was just a quick look at saving loofah seeds. Um, I'm going to make these seeds available to you. So there are a couple ways to get them. First way is to pop on over to Facebook, find the Backyard Eden page, like it, and then in December we're going to have a seed swap on the page and you can bring whatever seeds that you want to trade that day. There could be who knows how many people involved in it. There are several already signed up to go. And there are many more people that I've invited. Um, so you could bring whatever seeds you want to trade, trade with someone else, or I'll have the loofah seeds and a couple other seeds that I've saved here on the farm. I'll have those available during that seed swap as well. The second way to get them is to find my address in the description below 
and you can send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and I will send you some loofah seeds. Um, if you have a vegetable in your garden, fruit, herb, whatever it is, and it grew really well for you, please save your seeds. Um, it does matter if they're heirloom, hybrid, uh, it does matter. You can save seeds from whatever plant, but it, if they're a hybrid, they may not come back true to type the next year. It will, it will grow, but it may be something uh, more or closer to what the parent plant was. Uh, take a second, like this video. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to our channel. And if you want notifications when we send out or when we post a new video, uh, click the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. If you haven't had a chance, check out our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and even our Pinterest page uh, for how-tos and just a lot of great information. And pop on over to our website, www.backyard-eden.com. Sign up for our, our mailing list there so you can get exclusive offers when we have seeds and any other things come available that were made here on the farm. As always, this is John with Backyard Eden. Have a great day.